You're exploring a new city, eager to soak in the sights and culture. A local strikes up a friendly conversation, offering to show you a hidden gem nearby. They seem kind, trustworthy. The next thing you know, you're waking up in a strange place, your phone's missing, and the last several hours, completely erased. You were under the influence of scopolamine, a substance with a reputation as sinister as its nickname, Devil's Breath. Scopolamine is a naturally occurring drug used for centuries in spiritual rituals. In traditional ceremonies, its effects were seen as a gateway to connect with the spiritual realm. But outside those sacred practices, scopolamine has taken on a far darker role. When ingested, inhaled, or even absorbed through the skin, it acts as a potent anticholinergic, blocking neurotransmitters in the brain. Victims have described feeling detached and compliant, left powerless to resist the will of others. It doesn't take much, just a handshake, a sip from a drink, or even a puff of powder blown in your direction. And here's where it gets even more sinister. Scopolamine doesn't just leave you vulnerable, it wipes away any memory of what happened. Victims have been known to willingly hand over personal information, unlock their homes, or even empty their bank account. The next morning, they wake up with no idea how they got there or what they've done. Scopolamine's reputation is most notorious in Colombia, where reports of its use in crimes were shockingly common. It's estimated that thousands of cases occur every year. Imagine the fear of knowing your autonomy was taken from you, that someone else had complete control over your actions. This kind of trauma can lead to anxiety, depression, PTSD even. But even in the face of such violation, healing is possible. Have you heard of scopolamine or the stories surrounding it? Share your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear more from you.